whether it is nobler to be working or I don't know, is it working? Um, let's see here. It's red. It should be. Okay. Are we not streaming again? Steel. Let me see. Oh, there I am. It's showing it on the tube. No, it's not. It's showing it. There we go. Hey guys, it's Jamie. Um, okay, so I am here. It's Monday. It's been a long Monday of unexpected. <laughs> what I thought was going to happen did not happen today. And it was all fine. It just everything seemed to take much longer than I thought today. Um, and so uh, praise report, my husband started his new job today, which means he did not sleep last night, <laughs> in case anybody was wondering. Um, which means that a very large man was tumbling around making and, and trying to talk to me in the middle of the night because he was up. So he figured he should just wake everybody up. What is it with men? Can anybody explain that to me? Can you tell me, is this a normal thing for guys? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's like, I don't know. We shouldn't compare so much as I'm wondering what in the world is with my life. Um, okay, so let me see here. There we go. So if you guys are here joining, I see that we're live. I am pretty sure we're able to hear each other. Um, let me hit unmute. Hello. Oh, cuckus. Hello, hello. Are you able to hear me? Gosh, that would be nice if that's the case. Unmute, mute. It's showing me frozen. Am I frozen? I hope not. Y'all. I hope it's not frozen. Is it? I don't know what's going on. Quite legit, y'all. Um, my laptop is not being very happy either. And I'm wondering, like, why? Okay. Let's see if this works. I see that I was supposed to be live. Oh, there I am. I can hear myself. Let me see. Well, maybe. To be live. Oh. Okay. I can hear volume. So I'm hoping y'all can hear volume too. Yes, sounds fine, not frozen. Okay, you can hear me. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Miss V59. Y'all have to shout out a name. Uh, Mary Ellen, not frozen, thank God, sister. Uh, Denise says, I'm good. Yes, I can hear you. Good. I, I could just tell you I'm utterly exhausted. Um, again, I was supposed to be home by 10 o'clock today, which means I was up early after not sleeping. And so, um, it didn't, just didn't work out that way. So what are you going to do? You're going to cry? Maybe. <laughs> Not when I have a very busy, very busy week, but that is kind of how life happens. Um, the devil wants to be there and, and giving you distractions. So find the joy. Um, I am grateful. Let's start with a couple things I'm grateful for you guys. Um, I'm grateful that you're here with me. I'm grateful that we're here to create tonight. I have a really fun project for us. Um, and I was thinking you guys can choose one of two things. I want you to comment right now. Do you want something really bright? Because I have the same image of my head, but two ways. Or do you want something super full? So there you go. Can you guys comment what you would prefer? So do you want fall or do you want bright? Um, here in Indiana, it's no longer sunset happens before seven o'clock now. I just posted that today kind of insane when you think about that like oof, like that's yep bright and fall okay great no cancel stop so my son is captain obvious he was like hey mom when did you start getting fingernails done i was like i don't know for a while <laughs> you guys he's like no really and i was like yeah really captain obvi um but he is an 18 year old boy and he did something today that was kind of like self-centered. Oh, he came in and he didn't help any of us and we were scrambling and he just took care of himself. And I was explaining to my girls that the, the human nature is innately selfish, but um, 
yeah. So colorful, bright, fall, bright, 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 fall, fall, fall. Looking for fall ideas. Well, let's do some fall. Um, you guys can easily translate this to a bright card. So that's what's really fun about this. If you guys don't know, we're working with the Alphabest bundle. This is not an expensive bundle. This is really a great price bundle. It has this tiny little ticket tag, um, and it works for a couple different things. Um, I used it on two different stamp sets this last week when I was preparing for um, our fall boutique that we did at the Stauffer Farms. And I have another boutique on Saturday, another craft fair in Huntington at the Beehive um, called the... Um, Bees are the autumn bees are. It's a great little farm where they um, harvest their own honey and have honey products, and um, they sell meats and dairies from local farms. It's really the best, and they also are the ones that have the um, bee honey flavored root beer floats. Um, honey flavored root beer is like, y'all, that's like crack. It's so good. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to be using this. Now, um, we could make this word say fall. We could be really like in your face fall. Or do you want to say thanks? So you tell me right now. This is fall season, the season of gratitude. Um, if you have not, if you're not on my mailing list, uh, my email list, I emailed out the most recent list of classes that should carry us almost through the end of the year. And so I hope that you will be joining us for those classes. They're online and in person. And one of the projects that we're doing is called our gratitude. We're going to have a gratitude journal and a gratitude project. So uh, we're going to be creating cards and celebrating gratitude and spreading it around because during the holidays, I tend to get a little blue. So I don't know. Are you guys blue also? I don't know. Is it just me? Am I the only one? I know not. Um, so comment if you get blue or not. But then also, do you want this to be thanks or fall? Can you give me thanks or fall? And we're going to create. So what I want to do is I want to create a dark based card, but I also want to be able to write on the inside. So this is a couple things you can do. We're going to look for the darkest brown we have, which is our early espresso. Um, we're going rich, you guys. Really, really, really rich and yummy. It's this really lush dark brown and I like it. It is it. I eat um, roasted coffee beans that are covered in chocolate. It's like one of my favorite little treats. And um, Trader Joe's, if you guys have a Trader Joe's in your area, usually has the pumpkin spiced version of that right now. It's kind of like crack. <laughs> I'm all about the addictive qualities. Then right behind me, I have our um, Regals. So if you guys look here, this is our Regal color family right here. I just need you guys to comment, is it fall or things that you want to make a card. You just let me know and um, we will have fun doing so. Um, so that's my plan. I'll let you guys do that. While I'm waiting for that answer, what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to create a neutral base. So I'm going to get the thick, very vanilla cardstock. So for me, I keep my fix on the outside because um, this girl's got a little thickness on her outside. Mm, just saying. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Joanne. Um, Joanne's commenting. And my daughters and I are, uh, we've had some health stuff coming up. And so we are really working hard to have a nice, clean diet. So um, today I made a roast that roasted for a long time, really slow. And... Um, and then my husband switched out and we had our um, roasted potatoes and an acorn squash. So I just cut something I didn't want to cut that way, but we'll be fine. Um, we're going to do thanks for you guys' suggestion because she's all over it, girls. Now, what you're going to want to do is create a neutral base. And then we're going to create a card front on top. And from there, we're going to do thanks. So it's T H A N K. S. That's six um, letters. And when you guys create a card, create two of them. Just do it. Don't waste your cardstock. Do the extra. It's extra five minutes, maybe, when you're creating a card, um, depending on how involved it is, right? Um, so that's the big part. So I've got two card bases here. And we're going to um, turn around just so you guys can see it. You don't want to see my ugly mug all day long. Let's see. Awesome. So here we are. Sure. Y'all, you would think I have been working my tukas off. 
Um, and that is not a terminology I'm sure most people here in the Midwest know. Um, tokos is um, a slang for your tush. <laughs> You're welcome. Little did you know that you would get slang for your tushy. Um, Yiddish slang even on top of that. Hi, Rhonda, my love. I'm going to put my hair up while we're talking. I am post taekwondo tonight, and we're, we belted up. So last week, hi Deborah. Last week we went from um, a yellow belt with a green stripe to a green belt. So we have promoted within um, this amazing um, curriculum. So it's kind of neat. Um, so we're gonna go now. You can do a couple different things. You could make this look like a very um, dark card. I kind of like that, but I'm going to show you guys. We're going to do a little extra fall-tastic with it. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then um, I'm going to go to five. This is a great way for you guys to feature a collection of designer series paper or card stocks that you may have Um and you want to highlight a season, one of the things I always suggest to people is to purchase within your season the color that would mimic it. Now, this is true if you were in clothing even, right? So if you were just in clothing, you would not wear your pastels right now in fall. Like uh, back in the day, it used to be after Labor Day, you didn't wear white, correct? Does anybody know that like rule, fashion rule? They say to throw it out, but I don't. I don't wear white a lot after Labor Day because it's fall, especially here in the Midwest where we live. Um, I really, I, I don't, I like to embrace the seasons and dress for the season. So, and that's the same with your card making. This is our crushed curry. And so if you're going to be using your crafting, unless you're decorating for a brand new baby, which most of us are not, um, what you'll want to do is um, use the colors of the season. So right now, somebody was asking me, I think Denise, you and I were talking about what ink pads to order. If you order our ink pads by the color family, you save 10%. Look at that. That looks already snazzy, you guys. And it's going to go on the front of this very vanilla, which you can see the blade needs to be replaced. Look for that feathering. When you guys see the little feathering, you can just wipe it off. But when you start seeing that, that means that your blade needs to be replaced. So whatever, whenever I order, place an order, I try to order one or two extra blades and keep them in a drawer because I hate the idea of running out of um, my blades. It's kind of like um, ink refills. You can buy the whole collection and it's a bundle and you save 10%. And, and one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! We were, right? So I would order my Regals. Regals are one of my favorite color collection. And um, so yeah, that's kind of like a thing for me. Um, okay. And so we're going to do this little punch right here. This is going to be the end of our punch line. Um, that sounds silly, right? Punch line. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's about a half inch wide. So what I'm going to do, my sisters, is let's build this card base initially. Okay. Um, also, the kids and I have been watching that 70s show. <laughs> uh, we did not watch it when it was originally out, um, or at least I didn't, right? Um, they probably weren't even around. Actually, they probably were. I don't know when it was filmed. Um, Ashton Kutcher is not that old. But... We're going to layer this. This is just going to be a single layer. You guys, you don't have to go crazy over this vibe, right? Okay. Um, and then use your bone folder. I might have been off a smidge and I don't know why. Probably because I am a little ditzy right now. Uh, so I would not order pastels right now. You guys, I would order my regals, my neutrals, and then work my way out to my brights. The reason I like the brights is because sometimes I like to create a bright Christmas card. Um, and then we're going to go into January and February, which is where you guys are going to get Valentine's Day. And then it goes quickly into St. Patrick's Day and Mother's Day. So always focus on what's coming up and dress or create in response to the seasons. It's way more appealing to the eye. And so um, you want to kind of do that. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody else do that? Did you guys do that? Is it just me? 
Regals have the most, my favorite color reds. It has the real red and the cherry cobbler. And so real red, if you guys don't know, used to be part of the Brights collection. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Awesome. Now I want to create with this a really sweet little card, but something that's kind of dynamic and celebrates the seasons. So when you're in fall, what you're going to want to do, my friends, is um, we have the crushed curry out. We're going to do a half inch, right? We want to do a half inch here, right there. Okay. Now that is going to mimic what this punch is right here. Okay. Does that make sense? And this is a very retro um, vibe, very 70s. I think a lot of people, um, when they think of these colors, especially the browns, you think of the... Um, hi, V. Hi, everybody. So glad you're joining me, girl. It's good to hear your voice. Um, I'm going to go with the lighter of the green in our Regals family. That is our old olive. So let's take this to a half inch. My dogs are, my kids are downstairs being very loud. Somebody want to go yell at them for me? No? <laughs> okay. I am going to grab, we already have the crushed curry. We're going to grab the pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin pie. That's my favorite pie, but I am a pie girl. Is anybody else a pie girl? I will, do not like cake. The only cake I'll really eat is nothing bun cake. Um, but yeah. So do you guys see where we're going to go? Do you guys see the fun colors that we're going to do here? Now you can go even as dark as you want. Um, I'm always cautious with that. Now we have six letters. We're doing thanks. Um, and that again, it, my finger down, T H A N K S. So what I would do you guys is let's just repeat these three colors. Um, so it's a little bit more balanced. You could do, or do you guys want more color? I think we're just going to do this repeating thing because I'm vibing it, but we're going to add a really fun accent. So what I'm going to do is with these two here, we're going to, um, jam it up to, um, let's take it to like three and a half, right? And then the other two, we're going to take these to three and a half as well. Um, actually, crackers. I'm not going to take it to three and a half. I screwed up, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to take one to three and a half. I'll take this pretty old olive to three and a half. Now, this reminds me of, like, vibing what you would see of the 70s, right? You would see this staggered look um, like coming up and down. And so this one here, I'm gonna take this to three and a quarter. Right. And we're gonna take this one to three. I am creating it as we go, sisters. I, I'm not sure um, if I'm vibing it, but we'll we'll have fun in the meantime, right? So um, we're doing T H A, and then this is three and a half. So we're gonna go to three and a quarter for the second one, you guys. This reminds me very much of like a headline that you would see with. Um, a 70s television show my kids were tripping out like on all of the they did a really good job you guys with that 70s show they did a really good job of of vibing the show of vibing the area um that they grew up with like it's really I think it's really well done um anyway so this one here is three no is it three crack us Hold on, y'all. This is because sister's talking. When sister's be talking. Mm -hmm. Wait. Here. Here. Yep, this needs to be trimmed. So it's... Wait, 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 wait. 
There we go. Awesome. And we're going to do a longer, are we? I'm debating it, y'all. Sister's creating it as we go. Enjoy the wild ride. <laughs> I didn't know. Let's go a half inch and then we'll cut it down. Do you guys know I do two lives every Monday? It's super fun. And I need an orange. We're going to vibe it out. This reminds me of like what is it PBS or CBS? Which one had the peacock? NBC? Which one is it, you guys? You tell me. So um, this next one is orange. So I'm going to go back to three and a half on that one. Actually, no. I'm going to go to three inches on the orange. I probably could just use the other piece. What the heck, Jamie? Great. Girls. And then we're going to go to this. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go to three inches. NBC, everybody's saying, yeah, thanks, you guys. I needed to remember that. Um, it's funny. It's, do you ever guys realize how many commercials we could quote from our childhood? How big an impact television really had on who we were? And I remember when you could upgrade your your TV plan, and that was when my son was an infant, to um, then, oh, I'm liking it. What do you guys think? This one needs to be shorter. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go a quarter inch up. Um, when you could have skip commercials, like we could fast forward, um, and it wasn't on VHS. What is that called? D DVR, right? It was called something else before. And my exchange student from Italy lived with us and she and I would watch all the shows together and we had fun. Okay. So it's kind of dropping and I think it looks really fun and really cool. Are you guys okay with that so far? What do you think? Do you dig? Do you vibe? I hope you do. Um, this is where I'm going to just go ahead and own it. That's kind of what you guys need to do. Sometimes you lay it out and I'm going to grab the side work because it needs, it's feathering out, right? It needs a new blade. And we're going to go over all three layers just like that. So we have one. Two. Do you guys feel fall when you look at this so far? Let me know. I'm really embracing, I guess that's probably because the only show I really watch besides a little bit of Food Network or HGTV, I don't watch a lot of TV, you guys, is been that 70s show. And um, not super appropriate, but not as bad as what's on television. It's crazy how much stuff has changed, you guys. But I was watching shows that I used to watch with like my parents, um, the newlywed game. Holy cow. It newlywed game was a horrible, like inappropriate show. Whoa. Um, I didn't remember that, but I do not like it. The humor is, did we watch? I think we watched a lot of show and we didn't catch what was going on. Whereas nowadays, like my kids catch on to way more. And I, why is that? I could not tell you. Oh, we're back. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but you guys should be able to see me now. I can see my hands moving. Okay. There we go. Um, so I, I was, I was saying, um, sorry, I don't know why it froze out. Um, okay. So I have no idea where I left off sisters. Um, we are going to, um, nod to the season with this card and it doesn't have to be right or wrong. Now, if this were a legit like seventies card, I would use early espresso ink. That's what you would do. 
Like that's how you would embrace the, the season, but I don't want to do that. I want to grab a little bit more of a pop of color, just a smidge, a smidge. So I'm going to grab, believe it or not, the Blackberry Bliss because this is almost like black, but it's purple. So you're going to get a little bit more interest on this card. And so um, we're going to do that. We're going to grab the Blackberry Bliss. We're going to grab this and the Alphabest stamp set. We're going to do thanks. And y'all know we've got to keep it in check. <laughs> Here's A. Here's A. Let's look up T. And this is where I'm going to look over here for T and H, right? We're going to look for the T and the H. T, is that F or is that T again? Nope, F's up here. Okay, so here's T. And because it's photopolymer, you guys, use this other side to store your words. Watch out for the F. I know, right, Denise? Isn't that horrible? T-H-A-N-K-S. I don't see K and I see S. So let's grab the K right here. There we go. And the S is here. Okay. So this is where we're going to get a little wacky. We're going to have some fun, y'all. Okay. We have the three colors that we used right in front of me. All right. So just embrace doing them, but have your um, your chamois here. I have mine here. And the chamois, because photopolymer will get stained with dark colors like purples, you want to just wash them off immediately. Also, don't dig them in. So here's our tea. Pat, 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 pat. And we're doing things. Tea here. Boom. It's a slight difference, but I like a little pop of color with this. So here's our T. Oh, I dropped it. Hopefully I didn't screw it up, y'all. It's misaligned. I did drop it when I was, oh my gosh. I broke my punch, guys. Um, oh, I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to call Stampin' Up. I have to tell you, Stampin' Up's customer service is spot freaking on, y'all. This is where we're going to go crazy. Ready? Here's that team. Clean it. Bop, 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 bop. Put it away. Unless you think you need it again. <laughs> T. H. And we're using the same ink. This is a really fun card. You could do with scraps. You can um, create a handmade card with ease doing this stamp set. H. Clean, clean, clean. Put it away. Where's our H on here? Here. A. A. I need to, I wish Stampin' Up just put them in alphabetic order. I don't know why they don't. N. K-S. I know, I just, I, that was so funny that we, they used the F instead of the T last week. You guys, holy cannolis. K. And then S. Do you guys see it? Like, do you see that vintage um, print look that you would have seen in the 70s? When you see this card? Boom. Okay, so we put the, the cards away as we were creating it. Now, if you were creating like 15 of these thanks cards, leave all your strips out 
stamp your T's and then trim it. Stamp your H's and trim them. And then lay them out in piles and you can put them together really easy. I really, really love embracing that little pop of dark purple on this project. And did you know that you get ink on yourself? Your chamois is like a great way to clean you or your surface. It's so cool. I love my chamois. But that being said, I'm not done. I think we need a little vintagey um, look. And I think these are a little too... Let's see what happens, you guys, with these. Um, I don't know if I like this one. I don't know what it's going to look like on here. It's a little too sparkly. I want retro. I want us to scream like retroly cool. Here we go. These are the rustic metallic accents. They are usually sold with that um, awesome dad car set that we have. And so um, I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. And let's add just a, a few on here. And these are like totally metal. So when you feel them, they're cold and they're cool. Um, so let's do a little papa papa. And it's so easy to do. Always do odd numbers. So that's three. Do we need five? Do you guys tell me? What do you think? Three or five. Should we add two more? I love the vintage aspect of these little accents. You tell me. Oopsie. I zoomed in kind of high. Whoop. You really, yeah, moved here. Five, Susan says. Okay. So we have three here. Let's grab another of the bigger accents. Let's put that over the A. Oh, how cute is that? That's four. And we're going to grab a little one. There. Or actually... Instead of just being too kitschy, let's come down here. There you go. You guys, this flips the fall look. Thanks, Susan. Everybody's saying, I love this. So this is the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots, um, 159082. This is our Alpha Best Bundle. And it comes together super cute and retro. And you can actually stamp a whole greeting on the inside or write a note. But I think this is the epitome of fall. This is the epitome of um, retro, vintage cool. And I hope that you like it as much as I do. What do you think? Do you? Do you like it? Now, this would easily translate to a very vivid card. Um, and I'll create a vivid version um, in a video coming up so you guys can see it. Now, did you guys know this is a full class you can take with us online? It really is. Hi. So we're doing this full alpha best class right here starting the 17th. So um, starts next Monday and you can create alongside of us and I will send you the supplies to create with us. Um, and so it would look awesome in your mailbox. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, let's, I'm so behind in mailing my cards that I would love to mail this to somebody, but I'm going to look at somebody who's placed an order this week. Oh, sorry, you were on. I thought you were earlier at 8.30. Um, yes. So Debbie, that is for our Getting Crafty family. Um, I'll be on in just a few minutes for the Getting Crafty family. This is the, um, Getting Crafty Stampers. Um, so if you guys, the first person to place an order with us online will get this fun card in the mail. And hopefully I'll blog it. I'm so far behind and getting all my mail out that I really, really want to. So, um, oh no, you're too late, Melody. I'm so sorry, my love. It's our normal time for our lives, um, except for the Getting Crafty family. We're moving their time. So that's kind of the change for some of you guys. Um, but so this Alphabest stamp set 
If you would like the cards to create that with me for the next two weeks, I will mail you a kit of all the cards and all the bases and all the good stuff that goes with it. And they're going to be vibrant. And they're going to have some fun folds for the next two weeks. Um, all you have to do is order the Alphabest bundle from, um, from me and use this month's hostess code. And I'll be glad to send it to you. How much for the class? The class is free as long as you've ordered the bundle from me using um, my, sorry, somebody's messaging me, um, using my hostess code this month. And let me see if I can pull up that hostess code really quickly. It's up here. I ended up exiting out. Ugh. And I'll just pop it in the mailbox. They're going into the mail on Friday. So if somebody's interested, let me know. I have um, quite a few events happening this week and a big one on Saturday. So it's going to be a little bonkers. So you have to get your order in today through Thursday, by Thursday. So I can prepare them Thursday and have them shipped either Thursday or Friday. If I can get them shipped Thursday, y'all, that is the dream. Um, but Debbie's laughing. I know Debbie's laughing at home. She's like Jamie and her dreams. She has big hopes and life happens every single time y'all. Um, okay. So this month's hostess code, I'm going to let you guys know really quickly. Actually, if you just check it out at gettingcrafty.net, you'll be able to see all of my upcoming classes. Um, but the hostess code this month is nine Q Q N N, um, H V Y curls. I'm going to tell you my dyslexia I would just copy that right off of my blog and paste it or off of my emails. That's how I roll. Um, I, otherwise it's completely overwhelming. Um, so I hope that that is exciting for you guys and, um, to get it in the mail. So whoever orders with this alpha best bundle first from me, um, and that alpha best bundle is one, five, eight, 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 six, and you get the whole bundle to save 10% on the stamp set and the punch. And I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I do have a full lineup of classes available going on right now. There is going to be a customer appreciation, um, night. We're going to, we have that coming up on, um, November 18th. We have uh, the kits that will start in November and everything I typed said October, but I meant November for the next um, kits. We're doing a Nourish and Flourish full kit class um, and we're going to be using that for our gratitudes. And then we have a gratitude journals class starting on November 14th. Um, and then December 5th, we're doing a birthday card organizer because we're going to roll into 2023. Can you believe that number? We're going to roll into that way organized and rocking the new year full of birthday cards. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am with that. Um, you can see it all on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I love this. This was super easy and cute and retro fun. And I hope that it, you guys were excited as I am um, with it. So um, go ahead and place an order with me. And I am glad the first person to do so to pop this card out in an order. So um, there you go questions, make sure you email me, jamie at gettingcrafty.net. Um, I'm going to let you go because I have a second live that's going to start in just a few minutes and I'm super excited. Really quick before I go, does anybody have any questions before I go? I want to make sure I hook you up with any questions that you might have. All of my classes are online and in person so you guys can rock the casbah that way. Um, and we have the Holly Live, Holly Leaves um, stamp class that will be happening at the end of the month, the last Friday of the month, which is the 28th. Um, and that one's going to be 20 Christmas cards in one night. Um, it'll be in person and online. So if you are interested, again, that class is free if you were to order this suite. Um, otherwise, it will be, I'll watch you and rewind. Yeah, totally, girlfriend. Um, you do that and let me know what you think of the card when you're done. Um, hopefully, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. This is very retro and very much fall. At least to me, it is. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Mwah. crafting blessings. Enjoy your guys' evening and I will see you. Yes, you.